Okay, so today we're going to be going over the slave codes and learning about the slave codes and how they affected Africans who were for, who were forced to migrate here from Africa. Let's go ahead and get started. By completing the activity, the scholars will be able to explain how the slave code affected the lives of Africans living in the colonies. All right, so slave codes. Slave codes were laws passed by Southern states. These laws are based on the concept that Africans that were enslaved in the Americas should be treated like property rather than human beings. The laws, the slave codes, the laws secured slave owners property rights and protected the owners from violence from people enslaved. So just to kind of start it off to give a background narrative, um, Slavery is an institution where people are forced to work for someone else for free. Um, slavery was established in America as early as 1619, um, when people were forced to migrate from Africa and in or, or Europe to come over here and, and work without compensation. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Slave code. So the slave codes drew a legal line in regards to race. So any person with African heritage was considered to be black. What does it mean when it says with African heritage? What that means is if you had a parent, a grandparent or a great grandparent that was an African, then you were considered to be labeled legally by the United States as a black person. Now, in regards to legal status, as far as free a slave, the second bullet says children would inherit the legal status of their mother. If, the, if your mother was a slave, then you, were, you would be born into slavery. So what would happen is, let's say a free man who was an overseer or a free slave owner was to have a relationship with the woman that was a slave, if they had a child, that child's legal status once it's born was slave. Now, if a black man that was a slave happened to have a relationship with the free white woman and they had a child, according to the law, that child would not inherit the status of a slave. So what you find is the laws prohibited the relationships between um, interracial marriage and interracial interracial marriage or interracial relationships, but especially for black men and um, free white women. The slave codes. The slave codes took away many of the legal rights that African Americans held when they were in bondage, when they were slaves. So here, here are a few things that slaves couldn't do because of the slave codes. All right, slaves couldn't testify in any litigation involving whites. So slaves couldn't testify in court against whites. Slaves couldn't own property they, because they were considered property. They couldn't, defend them, they couldn't defend themselves against violence from whites. Slaves couldn't leave their owner's premises without permission. Slaves could not be taught to read or write. So they made it illegal for slaves to read or write. Um, slaves couldn't own firearms. Slaves could not assemble unless a white person was present. So slaves couldn't have gatherings or like parties or any or, or like gather together in like any type of secret organizations unless there was a white person present. And then um, Slaves could not possess inflammatory literature. They couldn't possess um, books or magazines that um, defamed the institution of slavery or got too political. And slaves were not permitted to marry unless they got um, their slave master's permission. General slave code regulations, if you break all of this down, the, the um, slave codes could be broke down and kind of labeled into these seven different things. You had movement restrictions, you had marriage restrict restrictions, you had um, prohibition on gatherings, 
you have the, the establishment of um, slave patrols, which you had people who would go on patrols around the slave quarters to make sure that they weren't leaving late at night and they didn't try to escape. And these same patrols would be used to um, bring back slaves that escape. You had the prohibition of trade and commerce by slaves. In many places, slaves couldn't um, own things or like trade or make things happen without the permission of their slave owner. You had the punishment and killing of slaves. So in, um, in extreme situations, um, whenever slaves were disobedient, they would get lashes. And so you had laws that legalized that and then even the killing of slaves if they tried to run away or if they um, tried to rebel. And then you had restrictions on education like slaves couldn't learn how to read. These are examples of laws that are passed. This law is um, in Texas. So this law comes much later after the period that we're looking at the colonial period. And then here's another law or not necessarily a law, but an article in reference to slave codes in um, New Orleans, Louisiana. And so that's our discussion for today. Go ahead and complete the assignment. Thank you.